Good morning, YouTube. It is 4.16 on this Thursday. I think it's Thursday. Um, today's topic is robot valet. Because, well, just because. Because um, you're in a hurry. Way too early for that Higgs chromosome space, the electrons like the magnetism all particles and momentum of receptors radiation are mathematics a solution asteroid what am i doing up uh so let's say you're in a hurry you, you you've got a plane to catch and you want to drive up to the airport toss your keys at someone and then go catch your plane can't really do that right now um well in germany you can so there's an airport in germany that you can do a well maybe not exactly that you're not gonna throw your keys at someone but you can you can drive up to this complex leave your car um, and just go uh, they have a system where instead of and it's not people based they're not gonna have someone drive your car you don't have to leave your keys actually you uh, you drive your car onto this platform, and you you probably have to input when you're coming back because you know you know you probably don't even have to do that. So you on this platform, these uh, this frame, this huge frame will will come down. It's robotic. It'll surround your car and lift your whole car and then take it, wheel it off to this complex, park it, uh, and that's that. You're, you're now parked in a, in a robot valet complex. Um, with this system, because it's robotic, it'll it'll it's got lasers and scanners and it'll scan your car to see what kind of envelope you know it holds um, pick up your car and send it off to this, to the to this uh, warehouse storage type area it can pack in the cars a lot closer um, it's a lot more efficient uh, because your car's not running uh, and not you know uh, and not uh, emitting fumes or whatever. Um, you know, they save on the the complex itself doesn't need you know airflow or whatever. Uh, so it saves on that. It can keep the lights down because no one's really looking. Um, huge, huge thing. Think, think to uh, the movie I Robot with Will Smith where you know he basically just gets out of his car and he leaves and this this I mean in the movie it looks a lot cooler because it, it takes the entire car and sends it off into sort of like this uh, this uh, big computerized uh, storage unit really and you see all the other cars there standing there in storage um, this uh, this this parking structure is linked to the airport so okay so you do have to put some information um, because when your flight comes back it'll bring your car out and it'll be waiting there for you um, and even this complex it has a has an agreement with uh, one of the car companies I think it might be Volkswagen uh, where the robotic complex will be able to talk with the car um, to help, you know, the car can send the complex uh, information like dimensional information or whatever. Uh, and maybe even the complex can talk to the car and let's say, you know, it, it detects that your flight's coming in, it brings the car out to the ready station waiting for you, and then maybe a few minutes afterwards it'll start the car for you and it'll be all warm because it gets cold in Germany you know um, fun yeah well only if you're in Germany 
Well, no, not really. There's a place in New Jersey that's going to try this too. So in New Jersey, oh, uh, in the place in, in Germany, it looks like a, they have pictures of this in, in the article. It, lo it looks like this huge forklift that sort of surrounds the car and picks up the entire car. Um, metal frame forklift type thing. In New Jersey, there's there's a plan to have one of these. Their system is a little different. You drive onto a platform, and there's no picture. I was trying to get trying to figure out a description of this. Um, you drive onto a platform, and then somehow your car is deposited onto sort of like a moving plate or moving platform, or maybe the plate comes along and. I don't know, somehow it gets under your car, and then you go, and it lifts your entire car, like like a, a plate on wheels or something, and it wheels your car into the complex. Uh, I don't know when the New Jersey one plans to open. Uh, I'm not sure if the Germany one is open. I, I think it is, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, so, here we go. Yeah, you, you know, they want to do this because... Um, the robotic valet can can save space because the robots will be able to park a lot better than than you can. Um, the robotic nature of it means that it can the the flow through is a lot better because it'll be able to you know control cars coming in. It's not it's not a human regulated uh, arena of driving in and out. Um, what else? Save on utilities because, again, they don't need light. Um, they don't need air. What's that called? Uh, air. Uh, um, air circulation or purification or anything like that because there's no emissions. The car's not on. Um, ba, ba, ba. Yeah, fun times. So. Um, I imagine the prohibitive part of this is the cost of setup, um, but there was a figure in there where, you know, this complex can run at $5.50 an hour, which is cheaper than any, you know, any, any set of humans might cost to pay. So, you know, maybe there's something to it, but... Alright, so Robot Valet, there you go. Uh, coming to an airport near you, maybe. Um, it could be just, you know, I might just drive to one just to watch it work and then go pick up my car, you know, two minutes later just to see it happen. Um, the costs, uh, the one in Germany is like 40 bucks a night to store your car, or maybe the 550 figure was per day there. I don't know. I remember reading a five fifty, five dollars fifty cents figure, but you know those costs are reasonable. Um, it's not too bad. So okay, I gotta go get to work. You gotta go do whatever it is you do. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you for watching another episode of Way Too Early for Explanations. If you enjoyed it, please click on the like button down here. If you want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, I'll post links at the bottom of the description field. If you want to subscribe to my channel, you can do so by clicking on the subscribe button around here. If you want to get to my channel to see more videos, you can click on the link to Way Too Early for Explanations, or you can click on the eye chart that shows up in the upper right hand corner. Every morning I try to kick out more videos, um, so stay tuned and come on back if you want to observe more early morning techno battle. Thanks again.